Hidden beneath a thin layer of floor tiles, Nigeria's security services have uncovered a massive haul of smuggled weapons inside shipping containers in Lagos port. The seizure comes as Nigeria prepares for elections in 2011 that are sure to be one of the most controversial and potentially most violent elections in the country's history. So far, 13 of these big blue containers have been seized, each holding about 20 wooden crates filled with rockets, bullets, mortars and an assortment of other weapons. That's 260 wooden crates in total. But on a brief inspection, Nigeria's national security advisor refused to speculate on the significance of this discovery. We don't want to make any conclusions about what trade they offer, where they are going, where they are coming from. We need a lot of verification. And, and at, at the end of the day, Nigerians will know that this is what this is all about. Militant groups across the country already have ready access to weapons smuggled through Nigeria's notoriously porous borders. The armed young men, local governments and analysts have all told us that such weapons are often paid for by politicians to support their own bid for power during elections by any means. Whoever owned these weapons felt it was safe enough to smuggle them through Nigeria's largest port. But the National Security Advisor insists this seizure instead highlights the effectiveness of Nigeria's security. I think they have a very good procedure. Uh, that's why they would find out that this one's not go unchecked. But authorities are taking the discovery of these weapons as a warning. Some Nigerians are expecting trouble. Christian Purefoy, CNN, Lagos, Nigeria.